at boss battle. Mm. Yeah, both players um, go to a lot of events now, it seems. Um, Josh Brody actually going to pretty much every major that you can think of and just probably getting better due to that fact alone. And just every single one of uh, Brody's um, <laughs> upbeats paid off. EG so quick on that, uh, you know, ledge snap and turns it around to a stock. EG off to a pretty good start here. Um, probably took a little longer than he wanted it to. Okay. Josh recognizing that he was going to actually get on stage there, so he opts to let you have up there. Smart. Okay, and that should do it. Yeah, and Brody's a downer there, just stuffing uh, EG's dash. He probably wanted to go under him. He's not going to let him do it that easy. And okay. EG just uh, stuffing uh, Brody there. Great DI from Brody, though, to get out of that combo. And oh, the edge cancel. cancel it. That angle, too. Great knowledge from Brody. Wow, and then just catches the jump. Very content to just sit and wait, and just snatch it away. Oh, oh just man. sits and waits for the grab. EG definitely thinking that he had that grab there. Yeah, and uh, you know we talk about Pika's magnet grab, but it looks even bigger whenever it grabs during uh, Falcon's initial dash. Absolutely. Looks like it'll just snatch him from half the stage. <laughs> Oh, and Edie just dropping that nair on him. Uh, not the best, but uh, puts Brody in a iffy position, and Brody just quickly turning it around with a few nicks here and there. Oh, good. Great drift by EG to stay alive there, but it might be a little bit too late. Yeah, yeah and that that'll do it. Easy edge guard for Josh Brody. And EG, despite being off to such a good start, uh, I wouldn't say falling apart there, but Brody just really putting the pressure on, making it incredibly hard for him to feel comfortable. Absolutely, just showing him what an optimal Pika can do, um, just following all of his edge guards, making sure that every, every follow-up that he did just matched what was optimal. And going into game two, I don't think we're gonna see any character switches here. These, these players both wanna win, they both wanna use their best character. Yeah, really no reason to. Uh, and the uh, seeding will matter, depending on who wins this, uh, going into top eight. So I'm sure both of them are making it out, but uh, not that I have the information, but both of them are always players that I expect to do so. I am not entirely sure that Josh would have survived there without that down smash, but I could be wrong. I think he was snapping ledge, um, so I don't think the down smash hits otherwise. <laughs> um, but. I kind of wish EG opted for a down tilt instead just to put Josh in a pretty iffy position. I love that weight that he used there. Oh, yeah. And Brody was surprised by it, too. He's like, oh, you're not going to do anything? Let me just jump out of shield. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, and great weight there from EG. Lands on top flat, and that's going to do it. Wow. So EG up four socks to two. That double jump up air to land on top plat was so good. So it was like... I didn't actually expect him to be able to catch him with the up air, but when he did, it was just easy pickings after that. Okay. And uh, EG opting away from the standard, expecting uh, that DI from Brody. And just keeping Brody very... Uh He's got to stay on his toes now because EG's reading those texts in places. Yeah, and even with that shield, it's just a man grab, so he's going to stop it. Do you think he's conditioning him to jump out of shield? Maybe. Yeah, he didn't shield there, so uh, probably, probably a way to invite him back on stage, so to speak. Nice edge cancel on the top plat. Gives him the opportunity to escape, but oh. EG again with these up piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just a, it feels like a new part of his game, and it's just paying off for him. I mean, if it keeps working. Oh, but that yeah. up smash, risky move. Yeah, EG just a little too hungry to close out the game, but... Uh, wow, great DI from Josh. And this should be it if he can just connect this last one. But Brody Ooh. with the, uh, the slip off. I love that tech. It only happens if you happen to be in the right situation. But yeah, and I think most of these players are keeping their eye where their character is landing because uh, it is consistent when it happens. Absolutely. If you're smart enough to know that you're going to land right on that edge and bounce off, it's better not to tech. All 
Oh, right. They're just taking it so slow, and oh. Brody's just... No, and he gets it again! It's not going to kill. And Brody uh, offs her top plat, gets which EG let him get away with a few times now. And we are playing so carefully. Oh, EG gets that oh, grab. Oh, no. But he forward throws. Yeah, the back throw definitely does it, oh. but so does the back air. So EG, despite, you know, I wouldn't say a choke, but he... Uh, was definitely slipping up a little bit, maybe playing a little antsy, but still being able to take it to game three. <laughs> All right, and then we got the rocket cam over here. <laughs> Giving him some much needed, much needed coaching. Yeah, rocket coach, player TO. What's next for this man? I would be surprised if it was something like, I don't know, yeah. commentator. He could probably commentate. I'll give him my spot. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Did you already say commentator? I, I, couldn't, I couldn't remember. I think I said coach, player, and TO. Ah, gotcha. Still room for commentary. Oh, yeah. Uh, so EG, getting that Z cancel on that back air. Very hard for the Falcon mains. And paying sir. off for him. Yes, sir. Though it is difficult, it is necessary. You want to get to that next level. All right. just waiting out that uh, that up tilt. Ooh, okay. So ops for the non-standard um, goes for the forward air instead of the uh, instead of the up air, and it does not work out for him. And Brody just knows he can just keep throwing out moves until uh, EG's just too far off stage, and Pikachu's a character that can afford it. Absolutely. Waits out the tech. Um, Ooh, I like that up air. And Brody just still able to keep it in his favor. Um, EG now down to stock, but definitely still has enough to take this game. Ooh, a little bit too far on that uh, dash grab. Just barely misses Josh's Pikachu. Oh, that turnaround grab. Oh, did he use there's attack that, there? There's that land again, right on that top plat. It's not quite going to kill. Not from center stage. Oh, oh and, and Brody, great spacing there. Yeah, just I'm staying away from that up air. Oh, that'll be it. Two stocks apiece, 16%, not too big of a deficit. With all these up I'm surprised we didn't see another one, but Nair works. Oh, Josh Brody, easy edge guard for Pikachu. Okay. And EG just giving him space to get back on stage. Oh, and trade? Uh, good trade for Alex. Oh. He gets that awkward. Uh, no! Ooh. Oh! Oh, you hate to see that. Yeah. Tough for Alex, but man.